Let's have a quick little bit of fun today. Uh, a few weeks ago, I put up some videos I made about this acoustic guitar series that I'm developing. And uh, you can see uh, I've got a couple more going here. I'm continuing to uh, kind of hone in on that process and, and make these acoustic guitars out of closet doors. Um, I have two that I made. One I brought out to a couple shows and let some people play it and got some feedback, which was very helpful. I really appreciated that. Uh, they both been holding up pretty good. But one of the, the goals with this uh, product is to, of course, electrify it because everybody wants to be able to plug their acoustic guitar in too. But you know, I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. Um, I don't really like piezo pickups. I think they sound terrible. And I don't care how good your guitar is or how much money you spend on it. They all have this sort of sound to them that I don't like. And so whenever I want to amplify acoustic instruments, I always prefer magnetic pickups. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today is throw a magnetic pickup on one of these closet door guitars. Uh, but you know what's kind of interesting about that is it just so happens I make this magnetic pickup that's designed for this purpose. Okay, I said my piece about piezos, and I know I'm not alone on that thought, but I know a lot of people really like them and get used to them. So when we get to a production level of this guitar, the plan would be to have your typical like piezo under the bridge with a little box with the knobs and stuff, like a Fishman thing or whatever, uh, and then adding the magnetic pickup too. And I'm not quite sure if I would sort of run them together so you could play them both or have them be like two separate circuits. Um, you know, that's all stuff that I'll, I'll figure out when I get to that point. But for now, I just want to put the pickup on that I would actually use, which is this magnetic pickup. I already went and I soldered an end onto it and moved it around a little bit to find where I think is the best spot, which is about right here. And I'm going to just screw that to the top and run these wires down. Uh, the production model would probably be an end pin jack or something like that, but I don't really have one here. I don't have the right kind. So I'm just going to put a surface mount jack right there. So now because this guitar is already built, uh, it makes it a little bit tricky to do the wiring here. You know, it's it's tough to reach through these holes. And there's a couple things I could do with like strings and stuff to drill a hole and pull this through. I could put it on the end or maybe I could even use something like, you know, like a Strat style, um, you know, thing to put it in. Uh, but that's just all too hard. I don't feel like working that hard today. So instead, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut a hole right here on the back and make a cover for it out of, guess what, closet door. And, uh, and that way I'll just have access to just go in there and do the wiring real easy. I don't have to take the strings off. And I love prototyping so much more than actually making stuff. I like the pace of it. While we're at it, since we're gonna go all in and make this easy to wire, we might as well add a volume and tone knob So maybe we'll go, um, once we get, I have this thing. Well, looks good from the neighbor's house. So I'll use this ice pick to sort of mark where I'm going to put my stuff. And then, um, I will go in with a little drill and start the, the holes from here and then finish from the front so I can manage the cut a little bit better. Oh, look at that. I like it. I'm going to run the drill bit in reverse first to help sort of crush the wood down, prevent some tear out. On future iterations of this build, I could actually put a metal plate on the underside of this bridge so where the strings go through, just a little thin piece of aluminum or something, and then um, I can have the strings touching that, and I can also put a, a ground wire on that for the magnetic pickup, because this one will be lacking that ground. Um, but that's, that's a pretty simple fix um, that I'll do in the future. Beautiful. A couple little screws. I'm actually going to not tap this wood first like I normally would. I'm gonna just use my awl to get the hole started and then just carefully twist these screws right in to make sure they grip good. I just guesstimated the distance of these holes here so it's not perfect uh, but close enough for me to get this all wired with just a little bit extra wire between each piece so I know I can fit it into the guitar. You see, I do have enough pickup lead to wire this all in together, but just to make my life easier, I'm going to actually wire extensions off of this stuff so I can just sort of twist tie these together and, and, and solder them outside of the guitar and, 
shove all the wires in there. I have plenty of room. In case you're wondering about my weird wire color choices, it's because I use reclaimed pinball wires. I, back in the day, I used to make furniture out of old pinball machines, and I have a whole bunch of wiring harnesses left over from them that I uh, continue to pull from. Well, it's sounding like I want it to sound, it's looking like I want it to look, and it's playing like I want it to play, so these are all pluses. Uh, is it the perfect guitar? No, but I have bad news for you. There's no such thing as the perfect guitar. Each one has its own thing, and this one is starting to fill the niche that I want it to fit into, so I'm pretty happy about that, but it still has a long ways to go, and um, I still have a lot of work to do. And you know, that sometimes gets me down a little bit, and I think like, man, I've been doing this so long, and I'm still not there, and I want things to be, you know, exactly like I imagine them, and I'm just not getting it, and then there's all these steps and you know it can it can kind of be a drag it can kind of wear you down but then i think about if i had a time machine and i took this instrument in my time machine back to me 10 years ago when i was just starting out on this journey and i said hey this is what you're going to be doing in 10 years and it's all made sustainably from reclaimed materials right here in your workshop by yourself heck you even made the pickups um that me 10 year ago me would be blown away and so then that gets me feeling a little bit better about me today because i think about me in 10 years and what he's going to say and what he's going to be doing and, and looking back on this stuff and if that guy could come to me now and say like keep going this is where you're going to be in 10 years uh and so that's i feel like is a pretty good way to wrap up 2022 um i'm feeling pretty positive i'm happy that i was able to get this done this year and uh even though it's not done, it'll never be done. Uh, I, I made a, a really huge step in the direction that I want to take my work. And uh, I can't wait to, to plow into the next year and keep moving forward. And um, I'm probably going to film it. So I hope you join me. 
So, you know, th these guitars are not for sale yet. Uh, there are some, like I mentioned about maybe raffling one, there's some legal issues that make that maybe difficult. So I will be taking one of these two prototypes and making it available in some way. Maybe it's an auction. I'm not sure yet. Uh, these pickups are available at newperspectivesmusic.com. I make those in small batches, so there's a few there if you're interested in that. And uh, glad I got to put my money where my mouth is. All right, thanks a lot again. Be good.